Coronation Street is airing Pat Felon's return to Weatherfield this week, and scenes are set to be so gruesome that the ITV soap is on after the 9pm watershed, rather than in its usual slot. And while the soap has raised eyebrows for promising scenes which a source told The Sun are more like a horror film than a soap, Kim Marsh has now spoken out in defense of the show, claiming it is important for Corey to push boundaries. The actress, who plays Michelle Connor on the ITV soap, is set to be a key part of Felon's return, as he interrupts her wedding and then shoots her, leaving her bleeding out on the floor of the bistro. And explaining the reason the soap didn't shy away from such dark scenes, Kim told Ruth Langsford, I think we have to keep up with other shows. You look at every show, they're all moving with it. That's natural progression, if we didn't do that we'd be well behind in the ratings and everything else. She added that Michelle's shooting isn't the only plot that has pushed boundaries, citing Shane Ward's recent Aidan Connor suicide plot as another important storyline. Discussing the poignant scenes, she said, I think that's one of the great things about soap. We can bring things into people's living rooms without them even realizing it. However comfortable that is to watch, we are governed by Ofcom and we have to make sure that what we're doing is correct and it's highlighting serious issues. Corey's drama is set to ensue later this week as Felon shoots somebody at Eileen Grimshaw's house and drags the casualty to the bistro, where he uses her character Michelle as a hostage while he instructs Sally Neeson to administer first aid on his victim. But things soon turn from bad to worse, as Felon ends up shooting Michelle, and leaving her wedding dress drenched in blood. The scenes took two days to film, and Michelle claimed she was left with bruises afterwards. As she and Connor McIntyre got so into their roles. Speaking to the mirror, Michelle said, In the bistro I'm being thrown around by Connor who's a strong man and I had to throw myself on the floor. You do it but your body doesn't realize it's not really happening. I was bruised, but it was great as I've never played anything like this before.